got landed on by Boncaro. Lamelo still down. NBA players are beasts on the court. There's no doubt about that. But they still make mistakes on and off the court. Be it Stephen Curry or the legendary Michael Jordan. And some of them almost cost them their careers. So here are times when NBA players almost ended their careers. Stephen Curry, the star player of the Golden State Warriors, is considered one of the greatest in NBA history. However, his journey to success faced a major hurdle early in his career, ankle problems that could have altered the course of NBA history. In the 2011-12 season, a young Steph Curry only played 26 games due to persistent issues in his right ankle. Concerns grew so much that there were talks of reconstructing his ankle, a serious procedure that could have changed everything. This worrisome news deeply affected Curry's father, Del Curry, and the Warriors' then general manager. They decided to hold off on reconstruction until they had a clearer picture of the situation. Fortunately, when doctors examined Curry's ankle, they didn't find any structural damage, avoiding the need for extensive surgery. The initial timeline for Curry's return was three to four months. Surprisingly, this setback turned out to be a turning point in his career. He not only recovered, but also elevated his game, rapidly becoming one of the league's best players. The following year, he even surpassed Ray Allen's record for the most three-pointers in a season. Fast forward to the NBA All-Star Game, and fans witnessed the dazzling combination of Stephen Curry and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Interestingly, there was a chance that both could have played for the Milwaukee Bucks. However, Curry's ankle issues intervened, and he remained with the Warriors. Curry himself confirmed this intriguing rumor while discussing it on Draymond Green's podcast. The Milwaukee Bucks medical team played a huge role in the failed trade. They turned down the opportunity to have a young Steph Curry expressing concerns about the severity of his ankle problems. However, Curry defied all doubts and didn't let his ankle issues affect his success. With the Warriors, he clinched four NBA titles, two MVP awards, and notably became the only unanimous MVP in NBA history. Now that's what we call a comeback. LaMelo Ball, after completing his third NBA season with the Charlotte Hornets, faced challenges with injuries and organizational chaos. Despite his flashy style of play and high expectations, he hadn't yet entered a playoff game. The Hornets, under Michael Jordan's ownership, struggled with mismanagement, including the sudden firing of coach James Borrego and rehiring Steve Clifford. The team's leading scorer, Miles Bridges, faced legal issues contributing to the team's struggles. LaMelo's first season was promising, earning him the NBA Rookie of the Year award. He showcased impressive stats, but the team finished with a 33-39 record, landing them in 10th seed in the Eastern Conference. In his second season, LaMelo continued to shine, making the All-Star team and helping the Hornets improve to a 43-39 record. However, the team faced elimination in the playing tournament. Entering the 2022-23 season, LaMelo switched his jersey number and aimed to make things turn out differently. Unfortunately, an ankle injury sidelined him until mid-November. Despite strong performances upon his return, the Hornets were struggling in the Eastern Conference. LaMelo's situation is complicated by the NBA's contract system, which tied him to the Hornets for several years. The only way out would be to decline a maximum contract, a rare move in NBA history. MJ's track record, no matter how good he plays, as an owner includes questionable decisions and a lack of success since taking over in 2010. The hope for improvement lies in the possibility of acquiring a top draft prospect, Victor Wembanyama, through the NBA Draft Lottery. Before Kevin Durant joined the Brooklyn Nets, they were already a good team during the 2018-19 season, surprising many with their winning record and sixth seed in the Eastern Conference playoffs. The team, led by coach Kenny Atkinson, was praised for its culture and depth, featuring a roster with many contributors. Fast forward two years and the Nets look drastically different. Coach Atkinson is gone and most players from the 2019 team have moved on. In a crucial moment during the Eastern Conference semifinals against the Milwaukee Bucks, Kyrie Irving suffered a sprained right ankle in Game 4, leaving Durant with a depleted supporting cast. James Harden was also struggling with a hamstring injury, and the Nets were facing an important Game 5 without key players. This situation was a huge challenge for Durant, who had been used to having strong teammates throughout his career. The Nets had a plan for Durant's championship quest, bringing in key players to support him. However, injuries and trades altered the team dynamics and Durant faced the biggest challenge of his career. However, the current situation presented Durant with a rare opportunity. If he could lead the Nets to victory in this challenging series against the Bucks, it could perhaps make things a bit better. 
Nearly a year ago, Lakers iconic player Kobe Bryant retired from the NBA, leaving behind a lasting legacy. Despite his impact on the league, Kobe faced challenges, and one particular incident almost jeopardized his career. On April 2, 2000, during his fourth NBA season, Kobe found himself in a heated match against the New York Knicks. Chris Childs, known for his tough defense, was tasked with guarding Bryant. Tensions escalated when Kobe, frustrated with Childs' physical play, turned to face him directly. What followed was a clash between the two players, with Kobe throwing his forearms towards Childs' face. In response, Childs headbutted and delivered a right-left combination, connecting with Bryant's neck and chest. Despite being taller and heavier, Kobe couldn't escape the punches. Teammates, coaches, and referees intervened to restrain the situation. In the aftermath, Kobe shared his side of the story, stating that he didn't expect Childs to throw punches. He felt it was a case of Childs being frustrated with his physical play. Childs, reflecting on the incident years later, explained that he had warned officials about Kobe's aggressive play, and when nothing was done, he took matters into his own hands. Both players faced penalties from the NBA, with Childs receiving a two-game suspension and a significant fine, while Kobe faced a one-game suspension and a smaller fine. Fortunately, Kobe's career didn't suffer long-term consequences from this incident. Michael Jordan achieved almost everything a basketball player dreams of, from six NBA titles to five MVPs and ten scoring titles, with staggering $2 billion net worth the Chicago Bulls legend's career was nothing short of extraordinary. However, all of this success could have taken a different turn because of one incident early in his career. In 1984, during his debut at just 21 years old, Jordan faced a horrific and potentially season-ending injury. Despite not being the top two picks in the 1984 draft, he was already a highly talked about prospect due to his impressive college days at the University of North Carolina. In his NBA debut, Jordan, known for his high leaping abilities, attempted an exciting move. With the Bulls leading 45-28, Jordan, a 6'6 shooting guard, was called for a traveling violation. Rather than giving up the ball, he decided to go for an emphatic jam over Jeff Ruland. Unfortunately, Ruland disrupted the play, leading to a severe fall for Jordan. While the fall looked like it could end his season, Jordan defied the odds. He played a game-high 40 minutes, contributing 16 points, 6 rebounds, and 7 assists, helping the Bulls secure a 109-93 win. Jordan's first two retirements in 93 and 98 had nothing to do with injuries. The first retirement happened when he decided to leave basketball for a stint in baseball after his father's tragic murder. Starting on the downside of my career, I want to walk away from the game. The second retirement came in 1998 after the Bulls' roster was dismantled. However, in 2003, Jordan retired for the final time due to several lower body injuries. Even in his late 30s, Jordan had impressive seasons in 2001-2002 and 2002-2003 as a member of the Washington Wizards, averaging 21.2 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 4.4 assists. Unfortunately, as age caught up with him, Jordan decided to retire for the last time, acknowledging that he couldn't keep up with Father Time. And that is all for the video. Like, subscribe, and check out the channel for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.